Hello, I'm Rebecca Hadreen, one of the librarians at Bewley Library, and in this video I'm going to give some quick overviews of AI tools that you might want to try out. Some are free to use without accounts, some require accounts, and some are paid tools. There are new tools coming out all the time, but these are a few that I've tried. In general, because these tools have limited access to collections of research papers and are still being developed, you should use them as exploratory tools rather than relying on them for full, comprehensive searching. In other words, you probably won't find everything using these tools, but you may be able to get a good head start on your searching. Perplexity.ai is a general search tool that searches the internet and provides summaries of results. You can use it as a general internet search or choose one of the focus aspects to target your search. Focus aspects include academic, uh, YouTube, Reddit, and Wolfram Alpha, the data and computational search. Um, when you do a search, there are also options to get images um, and uh, even videos uh, in your search. There's also a link to share. The search. Um, all of that's free and does not require an account. Um, signing up for a free account allows for the savings of searches. Um, there's also a pro subscription level that provides uh, access to better quality AI, the ability to upload files that provide context for search, and image generation. SciSpace, um, which is at, currently at typeset.io, is an academic paper search engine that you can use for free. The current data set was updated October 2023. You can do a literature review um, by putting in a question and getting a summary based on the top five papers um, with papers and extracts related to your question. Uh, there are a number of predefined columns um, that you can add Uh, clicking on a title gives you more information about that article. Um, it also gives you citations to that paper, references, and related papers. Uses, uh, uses without an account or with the free account have limited use of the Copilot feature, um, which allows you to ask questions about a specific paper. Uh, uh, the free account also allows you to save searches. Consensus.app is another academic paper search tool. The unique feature of Consensus is that if you phrase your question as a yes-no, um, it will give you a consensus meeting, uh, meter reading of support for that answer. Um, it's based, it's a yes, no, maybe format, and it's based on what it thinks are the most relevant papers. Um, a summary, key points, and a list of papers are provided. You can do very limited searches without an account or sign up for a free account to do unlimited searches. They also offer discounted student premium accounts. Undermined dot AI is a different sort of search tool. It requires an account, but there is a free tier for limited searching and testing. When you start an undermined search, you interact with the tool to design the question. Um, undermined also uses an iterative search using the initial results to find more results before presenting um, its findings. Let me show you an example search that I did earlier. Um, uh, results are grouped into categories uh, and entries include the title, the year, the citation rate, relevancy rating, and a relevant extract. Um, you can limit your search um, by year range, citation rate, and you can export the findings. 
Undermined also provides an estimate of how many, uh, how much of the relevant literature has been discovered in the initial search. Um, though at this point, it's unclear exactly how accurate those percentages are. Illicit.com is the most advanced literature search tool I've tried so far. It requires an account and has a limited free trial. Um, besides, besides the literature search with summaries, Illicit allows you to customize extracts such as res, uh, with results, interventions, outcomes, etc. Um, in a table format, you can filter the results. Um, you can also do concept searches. Here's an example of a concept search. Um, and I've used this um, quite a bit uh, to look for research instruments. Uh, it's also useful for other types of methodologies. Yeah, you can organize your searches into notebooks and you can even extract data from uploaded PDFs. That requires a, pay, a paid account. These are some of the examples of the AI-assisted search tools available right now. All of them are regularly updated and expanded with new features, though in many case, cases those features are only available with paid subscriptions. Running these tools is not cheap, and I fully expect that some of these will not remain in business long term. But this type of search will also become more common, and I expect many of our library databases will eventually incorporate some sort of AI-assisted search, search in addition to the standard searching. As a final caveat, be aware that all of these tools harvest data, including any sign-up data and your searches. If you use any of the PDF or image upload features, be aware that those may become part of the tool's databases, and there are ethical issues related to using copyright-protected materials in this way. Thank you.